To simplify this problem, we must apply all of the different exponent rules that we've learned in this chapter. First, we apply the power rule for each set of parentheses in the numerator. To simplify negative 2 x to the third y squared, think of y as y to the first, and square the coefficient of negative 2 to get positive 4, and multiply each of our exponents by 2 to get x to the sixth y squared. This is all multiplied by negative x y to the fourth cubed, and think of the negative as negative 1, and x as x to the first. So we cube our coefficient of negative 1, which is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, or negative 1, and multiply each of our exponents by 3 to get x to the third, y to the twelfth. In our denominator, we take our coefficient of 3 to the fourth power, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 81, and multiply each of the exponents by 4 to get x to the eighth, y to the twentieth. Next, we apply our product rule across the numerator. Multiplying the two coefficients, we get negative 4. But remember that the product rule states that when multiplying powers that have the same base, we add their exponents. So we have x to the 6 times x to the 3rd, which is x to the 6 plus 3, or x to the 9th y squared times y to the 12th is y to the 2 plus 12, or y to the 14th. So we have negative 4, x to the 9th, y to the 14th, over 81, x to the 8th, y to the 20th. Finally, we apply our quotient rule. And remember that the quotient rule states that when you're dividing powers that have the same base, simply subtract their exponents. So we have our coefficients of negative 4 over 81. And for our x's, we take 9 minus 8, which is 1. So we have x to the first, or x. And notice that for our y's, the exponent in the denominator is greater than the exponent in the numerator. In this situation, we still take the difference between our exponents, which is 6 but the y to the sixth goes in the denominator of your answer.